Welcome to 1000 Days Sober YouTube channel. My name is Lee Davy. I'm not an alcoholic. I refuse to be anonymous. I am someone that doesn't drink alcohol. I spent every waking moment of my life helping other people do the same. Like right now, I am going to share with you the books that help me to stop drinking alcohol and live a conscious life. Okay. And just say enough. Right out the bat, it's going to be a four-part series because there's a lot of books. And books are some of the easiest, most efficient ways for you to stop drinking alcohol. Without a shadow of a doubt, right? But beyond that, you need to realize that once you stop drinking, that is the easy part. The most difficult part of this whole journey is the living a conscious life bit. And if you just want to stop drinking alcohol and be a miserable bastard, then that's fine. But that's not what we promote and that's not what we guide people to achieve as a goal at 1000 Days Sober. We want people to live a conscious life because if you live in a conscious life, it is less likely that you're going to drink again because you think your life is pretty boring. All right. So here are the 5, 10, 15, 16 books that have really helped me to live a conscious life. Okay. And we're going to come at you in four parts. So part one, book number one, the book. All it took was one book to help me be someone that doesn't drink alcohol. And that was The Easy Way to Control Alcohol by Alan Carr. All right. Absolutely the business. It is the Bible when it comes to uh, being someone that doesn't drink alcohol. Every other book that was written after that is just a rip off of Alan Carr's book. Just read Alan Carr's book. It's all you need to do. Follow his instructions. Open your mind, and after you've read it, you will be someone that doesn't drink alcohol. Right. What are the key messages in that book? For me, it was the the um, the idea that I wasn't giving anything up, that alcohol provided me with zero value, zero value when I viewed it through the lens of long-term goals, right? So that is amazing because if you can view alcohol as having no value, you have no desire, ergo, you're not going to want to drink it, okay? So the one book, all it needed was one book and I stopped drinking alcohol, right? And I never desired to drink it again and that was over a decade ago. Easy way to control alcohol by Alan Carr. Book number one, okay? Book number two, which was super, super important in the early days of my life when it came to being someone that doesn't drink alcohol, was The Path of Least Resistance by Robert Fritz. Two um, main concepts that I pulled out of that that really helped me to be someone that doesn't drink alcohol. Number one, that there is a path of least resistance, that we are always on it, and it helps us to raise awareness of what that path looks like. What does it look like? What are the structures that are in place externally and internally that are guiding our decision making? Where is our energy flowing? <laughs> you know, because if you think about it, if you're the wind and you're in the, you, you know, New York City, um, you can't go anywhere you want to go. You, you, are, you are directed to go wherever the skyscrapers say you're supposed to go. So what are the skyscrapers that are preventing you from getting on in your life? The path of least resistance really important. The other thing that Fritz talks about, which is really important, is choice, okay? So when it comes to being someone that doesn't drink alcohol, for example, you make the primary choice. I'm going to be someone that doesn't drink alcohol. And then to support that primary choice, you make several secondary choices. I'm not going to go to pub. I'm not going to hang out with Darren because he's a dickhead. I'm not going to have alcohol in the house. I'm going to take Lee Davies' Strive Method for Addictions and join the Strive Method um, team. Um, there are secondary choices to support the primary choice, which is I don't want to be someone who drinks alcohol, right? But unless you make the fundamental choice, a life orientation switch, a state of being switch. So for me, I want to live a conscious life. OK, then the primary choice will likely at some point in your journey disappear. So the point of choice and the path of least resistance by Robert Fritz is incredibly important. Now, books three and books four kind of gel together. OK, and then I'll leave you uh, to part two. First of all, Feeling Good by David Burns. Right. So Feeling Good by David Burns is a book about cognitive behavioral therapy. David Burns is the Gandalf of uh, 
uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. I interviewed him on the podcast a couple of times. So check out his episodes at 1000 Days Sober Podcast. Okay. Uh, what I liked about feeling good, there were many things that I liked, but the one core thing was his views on resistance. That if you keep trying to tell somebody that alcohol has no value, <laughs> all they'll do is defend and say, of course it has lots of value. All right. But if you could become the voice of resistance and you can start to be whoever you're trying to help, right, or yourself, become that voice of resistance, right? And say to yourself, well, yeah, um, what is all the value that alcohol is providing me with? Well, and then you've got this big, huge list of all the value that alcohol is providing you with. And then you ask yourself a simple question. Why are you trying to give up then? Why are you trying to give up if it gives you all this value? And if you do that right, you do that work right, you realize, holy cow. There is something much bigger at play here that I need to think about if I'm going to be someone that doesn't drink alcohol. So every time somebody, 1,000 days sober, is struggling, every time they uh, want to drink alcohol or they want to act below the line, they want to act unconsciously, it's because resistance has taken control of the wheel. Resistance is ego. Resistance is the wounded mind. Okay. Book number four, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Again, resistance. The first time I ever heard about resistance actually was from Stephen Pressfield, not by David Burns, right? And Stephen Pressfield comes at it from a creative angle. How resistance prevents you from crossing the precipice into greatness. Every time you're on the ledge of greatness, resistance comes up and says, whoosh, it yanks you back. You cannot do this. You are not big enough. You are not strong enough. You're not powerful enough. You're not capable of enough. Resistance keeps you small. Resistance stops you from filling a blank page. Resistance stops you from painting a canvas. Resistance stops you from building your relationships up, from building your home, from getting your job, right? So Pressfield comes at resistance from the aspect of creative blocks. Burns comes from resistance from the angle of cognitive behavioral therapy and cognitive distortions all right but resistance is really important because it's what is preventing you from becoming someone who doesn't drink alcohol a and b living a conscious life so they are the first four books that i'm going to tell you in this series um on all it took was one book for lee Dave to quit drinking but <laughs> there were 15 others as well let me know down below what were the books that changed your life in the early days of you becoming someone that doesn't drink alcohol and if you read any of the ones that I just mentioned, Easy Way to Control Alcohol by Ankar, Powerful Least Resistance by Robert Fitz, Feeling Good by David Burns, and The Water of Art by Stephen Pressfield. What did you think about them? Did they change your life or did you think they were a pile of pants? Let me know down below. Cheers.